Welcome back to E4 Luck of the Irish Achievement and uh, at the end of the of the last episode we got a looming disaster but it will most likely never triggers because it needs uh, we just need to get the unrest down and uh, we have very low unrest and it should most likely um, if nothing is weird happens it should be gone long before this disaster triggers and France decided to give us some love again and all that France love has uh, helped us a lot because uh, it meant we could pay off uh, quite a few loans. We still have, have a crazy amount of loans though. We have 12 loans but we are down to below uh, 1000 uh, ducats uh, in depth. So it's it's definitely going down quickly um, because um, yeah, we just need to take uh, advantage of that France love because uh, we never know when it's going to end. And getting uh, the debt down also means we are paying less and less in interest, which means we are making more and more profit. And we managed to get uh, the inflation down a bit also. And other than that, our Earl died a little bit early. And his queen died just like a few days or months before him, which means we have a Regency Council. Because if the, your ruler dies and you don't have a queen, a Regency Council will take over if the heir is not of age. And then there need to be like 14 uh, to be able to take over and it reaches the council means we can't declare any wars so we just have to wait uh until uh until our air comes to age before we can uh, liberate uh, some more provinces here in uh, in england not much we can do about it but of course uh, as i talked about it in the last episode and that's bad news france decided they don't love us anymore but we are by a huge margin in the greens right now even without them uh, of course we are zero army maintainers if we would pick it up we would be in the reds again but uh, we're just going to stay like this because uh, there's not much else we can do we just need to wait here until our regency council is up then i mean we love loans obviously so then we're going to take some loans so we can liberate some more of england and uh what can happen is, of course, that France can decide to declare war against England and somebody else. So we could find ourselves uh, in war earlier than uh, expected. You never know. And this actually means we could uh, fabricate a claim on Yorkshire again. Because the people there, they need to know. If we think about them, then we are going to li liberate them from the British tyranny. We definitely are. You'll never forget Yorkshire, we will we will liberate uh, you as uh, as soon as we can, and uh, of course then ASAP will also another claim, um, and that angry I don't remember I forgot should have checked it up before this episode but yeah that's of course bad news for us having uh, other nations been angry with us, and I'm going to remove uh, this one from England for some time. We can take a look uh, if we would declare we can't even click it so i can't check it but um Castillo, you should have paid off your debts right now haven't you so i'm going to try to improve our relationships with you guys it's still pretty high let's see maybe that may you would give us some money love this uh, i mean nothing nothing shows uh, friendships uh, as much as, uh, as sending money and you want to be our friend Casti, so you, you definitely should be sending us some money a reckless privateer enlisting the aid of privateers to wreck the trade efforts uh, of our adversaries have proven beneficial to us but it also tends to attract and revile blah 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 business partners so we can shame what we want to do we we don't want to uh, risk uh, people being angry with us so we are going to go for improved relationships and actually let's take a look at the navy right now this it's currently uh, privateering. And where are you pri privateering? I think this could be why people are angry with us. Probably is why. So if you privateer, we should do it in Lubeck. And if we uh, protect trade, of those are good options for us so let's uh, privateer uh, against uh, against Lubeck 
I'm feeling like we might have been doing it in Bordeaux, who gave us a lot of money before, and that's probably why he and France got a bit angry with us. Let's see uh, how um, that affects our money situation. We are we are down a bit. Quickly came up. That's most likely why they were angry with us. France has gone a long time now without declaring any wars. That's uh, that's unlikely <laughs> for for the France way. Not the way they usually rolls. And we can try to get the trust up a little bit more. We need to stay over ten, so they will help us if we declare war. But uh, definitely worth uh, increasing the trust, having them love us some more. I mean, who wouldn't love the glorious uh, Tomond Empire? You, you don't have a heart if you don't love the glorious Tomond Empire, for sure. The soon-to-be Irish Empire. You just need to get uh, two more uh, admin techs. That to happen. And the paying of loans goes a lot slower now, without, uh, without love from uh, France. Uh, but there we can actually repay one. 11 more loans to go. Our ancestors are watching. Recently people have begun to doubt the legitimacy of your reign. We need to remind them of the right rule. What can we choose between? Lose money to gain prestige and... Oh, we are really low here in the legitimacy, so I can see why that's happening. So we are definitely not going to take this one because we need to get rid of uh, unrest to get rid of uh, the disaster. I, mean, I feel like this would be great, but we kind of can't afford it. Ah, this is too good to pass up on. So let's take another loans. Loans are not our enemies. Loans is our friend. We we love the loans. Lo loans are definitely our friend. Let's uh, try to improve a bit here with uh, with uh, Poland. Maybe Poland want to show us some, uh, some money love. And of course, each month that angry thing goes down. Not a month, a year probably it is, yeah. So, should make both Castille and France like us more and more. And um, we are still waiting for, for our area to take over. Need to go few more years and we can't declare any wars as, uh, as long as that's the situation. We basically, this Regency Council allows uh, England to e exist a little bit longer. And we are losing a lot of claims here, so as long as we maxed out the Poland rep, we are going to get back to uh, to fabricate claims against uh, England again. Wales has announced us as their rival. Are you crazy, Wales? We were the ones that liberated you. If it weren't for, wasn't for us, you wouldn't even exist. Look at that, released in peace, plus 69. So, because of us, your nation exists, and you declare us a rival. You, you must be stupid. You must be stupid. But we're going to rival you right back. And uh, before we start fabricating claims on England, we are going to, uh, to issue an embargo against Wales. You just need to get a diplomat back. But yeah, we are losing claims quickly here, so need to get back to, to fabricating claims because we don't want to be in a situation where we France declare war on England. We get pulled in, but we don't get any promises because we don't have claims on them. That that would be very bad for us. How would are we doing? We are still in the reds with the left army maintenance. So we will lose stability. That's shitty because we need uh, low unrest. 
but we are going to pay for it even though we desperately need our misrogity points for other things we're going to pay for it asap because yeah we we need to get rid of the unrest we need for sure land theft many land donations are quite old and while they are always written down both landscape and names may well have changed since the donation was originally written and uh these are fighting over land so we can side with the clergy the nobility or none of them but if uh which one do we want to side with here I think we need to side with the nobility because uh, they are already very low in the influence. It would be tough to get it up. I mean, clergy is not that high, but I think that would be a better option because we can buy their loan back, can't we? Yes, we can. And uh, that means it's going to take even longer for us to repay loans. So we are just gonna wait two more, just max it out with uh, with Paul. And look, Castille. Oh, they are Spain now. They're not Castille anymore. Spain. They have integrated um, Aragon here. Spain has decided to show us some love. Thank you, Spain. I knew we could trust you. Now we just need to France do the same and Poland. And if that happens, we will repay the loans in no time and be ready to conquer England the second oh let's just get a new royal marriage here the second that uh, our regency council is over so we want to uh, embargo our rivals here wales and are we embargoing Brittany? we need to do that also because i think aren't they our rivals yes they are so we definitely should be they embargoing them. Borgo C requests privileges. And uh, they think that they have grown as a class. And uh, if you do that, it also has administrative power, make them happy, make uh, nobility not happy, and we could deny him. We needed administrative power so badly. I think we need the diplomatic power less. Even if it's unfortunately that we will lose some loyalty from them, I think this is the best option. We just need uh, the administrative power so badly. We need to get to admin tech 10 to form Ireland. And we're also <coughs> going to use a lot of it to. Uh, to um for the provinces we liberate from uh, the english tyranny and we are planning to liberate them all every single province here and unrest is really low should be gone soon and yeah we are keeping on losing claim after claim so we need to uh Get them rolling again. And repay another loan. We have 10 loans left. 10 loans. And uh, it's 12 years old now, so pretty soon we will have a real ruler again, which means we can declare war. And uh, yeah, we might as well take that. say England oh they are already up to 11 this is unfortunately for us really unfortunately for us because they are quite it's, it's of course we have the worst we had the worst earl before with really shitty stats now we have a really shitty regency council so we are losing out on so many points here and we can't afford the advices which means we are losing out on even more points and that's obviously why they are ahead of us for sure 
and uh, we really can't attack them when we are below them in, in military tech. That would be a really, probably a really bad move for us. So that would be enough to get uh, the rest down. And um, yeah, we can at least repay loans. And when loans are gone, then we can afford advices, which means we could uh, start rebuilding for the future. I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name, but a woman known as a hard to pronounce name has arrived at our court petition the release of her sons, Ibot Burke and uh, Morgoth O. Lethargy and her half like why do all his fa her family have so uh, hard to pronounce uh, names? She's the queen of Umayal. Well, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. It's just really hard. So we could uh, release them, which would mean uh, we could have a an advisor shaper. Pretty good or even very good admiral, but I don't think we're going to use any. We could gain prestige. I think we should just go with the prestige because, because right now, that was we have the most use for. Can we fabricate claims against England? We can't. We need forty because we still have a few claims. Smugglers running, running rampage. People are finding lots of ways to of getting around paying taxes and fees on moving goods. They're cutting into uh, our income, but stopping it would cost quite a lot in the short term. We could pay a lot to stop them. Well, we need to do that because I think this would be even worse. So let's just stop them. And that's shitty because that would have been another loan we could pay it off. Uh, honorable people, you are the countries in the world who do not claim the value, honor and justice. But even fewer are the countries who actually live up to these uh, ideals. Get pr a free prestige. Can't say no to that because prestige is some good shit. Definitely are. And I think we, yeah, yeah, we are losing claims. One by one, but this means we can create a new one. So let's uh, let's do that. We're probably not going to create any more claims, but we want claims here because we want an open road uh, towards uh, London. Because in next war, if we are the one declaring the war, we will go for London most likely. And of course, if France is declaring the war, we will just be happy to get like one, two provinces over here. Hopefully, uh, if France go to war with them, they will uh, will uh, force England to give up their alliance with Wales. That would be good for us. It would definitely be. But we are so far behind in monarch points. Let me get some monarch points out to you guys. Not all military points we could get, but worth it yes I'm gonna demand military support we're not going to spend it because we need it for uh, another tech level here fight England their huge tech advantage and we can repay another loan yeah huge difference with like we are paying 1.73 ducats uh, in the interest now. So it wasn't long ago we were playing like four or five ducats in interest. So it's a huge, huge difference for our finances. Now we're clearly in the green, even if uh, if uh, Spain should remove their subsidies. But uh, as long as it's up, it helps us uh, tremendously. Eight loans left. So uh, rise of a pretender. Uh, the dispute succession of uh, Troloth has caused the Pretender to rise and an army to march for the capital. Eight Pretender regiments. So what we need to do is uh, we need to bring up our army maintenance. And they 
uh, eyes up here. So uh, we want you to, uh, to march over here. And uh, this is our new Earl. And we uh, need to get a leader for the team. Can we get? Yes, we can get the leader from you guys. Oh, this is uh, unfortunately, this means like basically another disaster. But uh, we should be fine. It wasn't that great though, pretty shitty, but at least I have a lot of shock value. He's going to wait by clicking this, see if we can get in a good situation. Yes, we could click it. It's, uh, also the fort, we will still have an advantage. And uh, since he, I mean, sometimes we get this event. If you get a little like somebody with really good uh, stats, you actually want the rebels to win, so you get him as your new leader. But he is weaker than our current uh, earl, so. We are not going to do that, not at all. Just going to, um, oh, we can repay another loan, fantastic. Just going to, uh, poor quality copper. Some of our copper mines have had some below standard low ores. This has uh, pushed up the cost of artillery units uh, in our nation, and that's of course uh, sucks. But uh, what can you do? So yeah, let's go here and take care of that pretender rebels. And uh, we should win this easy. Uh, we did, but they escaped. So let's um, destroy, destroy the rebels once and for all. And uh, we actually have two looming disasters. Done up quite a lot. But uh, the unrest is almost, almost gone. Really close to be gone. So I don't think, I think we should be fine. I mean, if we got into another war though, that could be, could be trouble. Could be for sure. That's not a problem, we could just uh, revoke a province. We don't need to hurry though, because it might go down before that. But I think that's it for this episode. Uh, we managed to take care about um, take care of uh, the rebels. We managed to pay off quite a few loans, and we finally have a new leader that's of age to rule the country. And we just need to get an heir. We need to get a queen, and we need to liberate the the people uh, from the English tyranny. But we're getting closer and closer to our end goal. And we are getting closer and closer to admin take 10. We just need to take 9 first. And then we can form Ireland. And we need to take, take military take 11. So we can compete with England. But yeah, enough talking. That's it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. Press that like button if you enjoyed it. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you during the next episode.